This week was truly a great week for the AI space, as we had crazy new releases from Anthropic, which had just released a few new models and dropped their new computer use API, where it essentially directs Claude to use computers the way people do, by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking buttons, and typing text. It is powered by Sony 3.5 and it's capable of automating various tasks. I actually made a video showcasing all the ins and outs of the computer use API as well as showcasing how you can install it locally. So if you're interested, take a look at the video link in the description below. But now there's a new way to integrate Claude's computer use API into a proficient framework that we had showcased on this channel long time ago called Open Interpreter, where it can practically control your computer. In this demo video, you can see that it's capable of reading and editing files, having the ability to search the web, and so much more. This is the capability of having the computer use API linked with a framework like Open Interpreter. Now, particularly in this demo, it is applying for a job within Anthropic's job board, and you can see that it's going to be capable of taking screenshots of the current standpoint of the web page, and it will then take the steps to fill out the like fields like your first name last name your email address as well as your phone number based off of the resume that you had provided to open interpreter so in this case you can see that it is retrieving it within the terminal and it is slowly but surely filling out all the different fields for the people who do not know open interpreter is a framework that lets lms run code like python javascript shell and many other programming languages locally you can chat with Open Interpreter through this ChatGPT like interface in your terminal, which lets you create various sorts of files, editing photos, videos, PDFs. You can control a Chrome browser to perform research, plot, clean, analyze large data sets, and so much more. Now, I've made a video on this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at it because it will give you a better idea as to what you can do with Open Interpreter. So let's get started and showcase how you can install Open Interpreter and utilize the computer use API locally. What you will need to do is fulfill the prerequisites. Make sure that you have Python installed as your programming language. You'll need Git to clone the repository onto your desktop, VS Code to configure API keys, and lastly, you need to make sure that you have an Anthropic API key. Also, please note this is only available for Windows as well as Mac OS. Currently not available for Linux, so just keep that in mind. So what you want to do is open up your command prompt. Once you have opened it up, click on the GitHub repository, click on this green button, click on copy to clipboard for the link of this repository, and you can scroll down to this part of the repository. Now go back into your command prompt and type in git clone and then paste in the link for this repository. You can then click enter. This will start cloning this repository. And once that's finished installing, we can then go into the folder and then install the packages. Once you have finished cloning, you can then go into the directory by typing in cd open dash interpreter. Once you're inside the interpreter folder, you can then install the packages. So copy this and then paste this in. This will start installing everything that is necessary. Once this is done, we can then either open up the interpreter by using this command to access the ability uh, abilities over here but in this case what we're doing is utilizing the os computer use api so we would simply want to copy this command now there is different functionalities and different codes that you can use to utilize different features os mode is what's going to enable us to use the computer use api so once it has finished installing we can then paste this in now unfortunately if you're on windows you might get this error over here and i currently have this error and i've tried my best to figure out a solution but at the moment i don't have the time as well as the ability to fix this so you might have to wait a bit until killian who is the creator behind this project updates his package so that it is operational for windows now he is trying his best to find a fix and i'll definitely keep you guys posted but for the people who want to keep on continuing with the installation what you can do is just simply copy the interpreter dash dash os command and then you can just simply paste it into your command prompt and it should work right away it's going to then prompt you to provide an anthropic api which you can provide by generating an api key linked to a billing account and then you can start accessing and utilizing this 
Computer Use API. This is probably one of the best examples of Open Interpreter. Now, since I cannot actually showcase my personal demo, here is a demo video where it is basically prompted to download a song that I found on Google, and the person behind the computer is trying to transform it into an MP3. So you can see that it's taking the steps to download the YouTube video. It's gonna then convert the downloaded video into the MP3 format using FFmpeg. Now, as you can see, it's executing all of these commands on its own autonomously. And as we see it go further into the video, it's gonna then proceed to download the video for you. So it looks like it has finished downloading the video and once it has finished downloading, the YouTube video, it had then converted it using FFmpeg. So once it has now converted it, it installed the new MP3 file. And now as we go further into the video, it will showcase the new converted MP3 file. And this is all being executed on its own. This is the capability of this beautiful new computer use API being integrated within Open Interpreter. What people have been capable of doing with the computer use API is just insane because people can utilize it for data gathering where you can use the agent to navigate through websites to collect relevant information as to how you would with Firecrawl. And this could even include data about products, services, team members, or even contact information and you can request it to take that data and then paste it into a file which is the capability that you get with the computer use api you have the ability to also have application process where it can then fill out as well as intake forms and this would involve automatically inputting information that is collected from the website and possibly even generating responses to questions based off of what it is basically asking for this is the capability of what this real-time data extraction and automation process that you get from Open Interpreter, having it linked with the Computer Use API. Also, I haven't really done a video on Interpreter in a long time, but you have the capability of utilizing this terminal-based assistant to basically execute various coding-based tasks. So in a way, this is kind of like Ader, but a little bit more focused on general purpose use cases. So you can utilize this to execute various tasks and have it so that it could generate various components for you. At the end of the day, with the ability to connect the computer use API with Open Interpreter, you get a more dynamic use case as you have the functionality to utilize all the features that you would get with Open Interpreter with the computer use API. Now there's a lot more to this, so I definitely recommend that you take a look at their documentation to showcase all the features associated with this framework. Now, with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some sort of value out of it. I'm sorry for the error that I had basically encountered. I will definitely keep you guys updated on a solution if you're on Windows. But with that thought, guys, I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.